There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey love, so it's your girl April and today's video is going to be by RPGHair.com They are now giving out these cute little accessory bags that have clips, combs, elastic bands, hair ties, um, wig caps, and bobby pins So you get all of these amenities when you order from RPGHair.com And the unit that they sent me was their Virgin Brazilian, I do believe it's Brazilian I'll make sure to put the hooks or the looks or the links below But it's a 360 lace front um, I already went ahead and sewed in my own elastic band and I just cut the lace off of this unit So I do think it's about 18 to 20 inches. I can't really remember but like I said I'll definitely link all of the info below for you guys um, For one their wigs are really affordable and like I said, this is RPG hair So it's a different company if you guys are thinking of anything else they do have like super affordable wigs okay but so that's one the hairline is pre-plucked as you guys can see on this unit and i did pre-pluck some of it prior to this video as well and if i remember correctly um yeah i think i'm, I'm not sure if i bleached it it's been a while but i don't think i did but anyway so like i was saying very affordable units um I'm not sure how long they've been in business but I do remember like about two years ago I started reviewing for them and over time their wigs have gotten a lot better so I will give them that kudos to them for that their wig line has gotten a lot better the wig construction has got like a million times better so I'm very very happy for them that they have branched out and have just like better the quality of their units plus like I said they're really affordable so as you guys know the norm I'm just going to go ahead and make me some baby hairs in the front I don't remember it saying it ever had any baby hairs in the unit, but you know, you know me, I'm going to go ahead and make my own. I do believe it's 150% density and it probably is one, um, it probably is 18 inches in length. So you guys, now it's time to cut the baby hairs. As you guys know, I just like to use my eyebrow trimmers. You can also use a razor comb or you can also use scissors. But if you're using scissors, I would say not to cut it, but to kind of like, you know, shred it. Like, you know, how I'm doing with the hair trimmers right there, the brow trimmers, I would do the scissors like that too, so you don't have like a really blunt cut. So now that the hair is tightly curled, I didn't um, wash this hair. Okay, so I didn't um, bleach it. I'm going to use some of my hair conditioner, which is a brand called Hair, and I love the stuff. It works really good. It also keeps your curly hair very moist. And just to lay the part down, I'm just going to use my barrel curler. Now, I was using my flat iron, but I decided not to because it just made the job a little bit harder. And I also was going to use my blow dryer, but that just takes a little bit more work. So I decided just to do it with the curling barrel. And also just to lay the sides down and also to adhere the wig and also to lay the baby hairs down I'm gonna be using my salon selective styling mousse which is available at the Dollar Tree this stuff is hands down the bomb at the bomb is um, mousse that I have used thus far especially for only a dollar there are different brands at Dollar Tree like the black can and so forth just stay away from those and try to get yourselves the pink can I love it it's for volume and it really does help hold my edges down or my wig lace down in the front and now it's time for the best part. This is when I am sculpting my baby hairs. You know, like sculpting. It's kind of like a work of art, but not really. Well, that's what I'm doing right here for this portion of the video. And I'm going to be sculpting those baby hairs down with a toothbrush. Or as you guys will know, we call it our edge brush. Um, yeah, so I call it my sculpting brush because it does get a little bit harder at the bristles. Once I put in hairspray or mousse and I just allow it to build up. But once I wash it, she goes back to just being normal, which is great. You always got to have like this really, really good, really, really, really good um, toothbrush. Because some of them are just like a little bit too soft. So this green one is perfect for me. And I'm just going to go ahead and make some baby hairs on the opposite side. I didn't really want too much because the hair is very wild. It's big, but it's very soft and it's very pretty hair. And I do like the way that the curls just separate themselves from one another. So that way it looks more natural and some of them may look a little bit of frizzy and so forth. But I do like how they look a lot more natural when they kind of like are under, you know, processing or so forth. 
So just to hold down the gel, excuse me, not the gel, but the hairspray for like five, 10 minutes, I'm just gonna take one of my favorite scarves that I sleep in and I'm going to wrap that around. And I'm also going to kind of like put a little bit of heat onto my scarf so that way it can penetrate through to the lace and the actual hairspray and mousse will dry. But like I said, you don't have to do it this way. You can use a blow dryer, which I did show you guys in a recent big wig video with blue hair i love the blow dryer method much better i'm not sure why i didn't start doing that but i just do it for my daughter's hand and i decided to do it for my own especially because i know that pumping up does stick really well especially to heat so um got to be freeze blast hairspray is amazing but i suggest you guys give a try to pump it up they have some really great um products as well as they also have like some good good hairspray um so this wig is actually really pretty it is like i said 150 percent density it's soft hair and it is like deep wave i love deep wave or curly hair because there's no maintenance on it and as you guys seen i went ahead and i didn't drench the hair down but i did saturate the hair a little bit more just so i can get its natural curls in the unit unlike when it came to me it did not come to me with its natural curl pattern so you want to make sure when you're doing curly hair that you wash it so you can see the real form of the hair now this portion right here is optional like i said i did not bleach the knot so this is the reason why i'm going to go ahead and use my lancome pressed powder and all you got to do is make sure that you blend it blend it blend it so that way it comes out looking really really nice and it also comes out even and so forth so you guys um the hair is so pretty it is 18 inches i love the way it curls the deep waves in it are popping the knots i did put a little bit of my lancome pressed powder on the edges so that way i wouldn't have to do too much um the knots weren't bad in this unit at all like i said when you're doing like the makeup the pressed powder you want to make sure that you do it even because you may have spots where it's a little bit blotchy or some are too white some are too light so you want to make sure that when you're doing the foundation or concealer or pressed powder that you do it even so that way it blends in perfectly with your scalp and you don't see any kind of you know breakage or or light spots or very very overdone spots i think the wig came out really nice this wig fits well there is adjustable strap three combs in the front and a comb in the nape area and like i said it's super duper affordable i don't like a lot of density especially when it comes to deep wave hair or kinky curly hair or anything like that because for one it's already dense and it's a lot of hair so i don't want it to puff up and i'm walking around looking like a poodle now this is how my sideburns turned out um like i said i did use the head scarf on them and i like the inside burns to be like that i don't really like a lot of sideburns but you know or not um yeah not a lot of sideburns just a little bit it does help hold the wig down in place and the wig doesn't flap now what do i think about this curly hair i actually do like it it's very very pretty i think this is like some everyday hair you guys know i love curly hair especially for this length this is perfect for the summertime i could see anybody rocking this with like a beautiful maxi dress or something colorful like yellow which is one of my favorite colors but something just warm and inviting with this hair this hair definitely screams out summertime so you guys, I'll list all the information below for rpghair.com down below. And there'll also be a coupon code. Make sure you let them know that your girl sent you over to them. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. And I'll see you guys in a soon-to-come video. Bye.